Seven signs that you are not cut out to be an entrepreneur. Nearly everyone dreams or wishes to own a business or company of their own in the future, but maybe everyone isn't cut out to be an entrepreneur. Starting a business is like planting a tree. First, you prepare the soil by tilling and rigging it. Then you plant your seed. However, planting isn't the last step. You have to keep watering, weeding, and shielding the plant from pests and other potentially dangerous animals. Including harsh weather conditions and the likes, constantly doing this will eventually lead to the growth of a tree, your trees. In the case of business, you start by researching and developing yourself, seek funds and finance before proceeding with plans to start the business. Sounds pretty easy, right? Unfortunately, it takes more than that, which is why too many businesses fail or never grow beyond startup level, and eventually. The owners are forced to give up and shut the business down. So, how do you know if you are cut out to be a successful entrepreneur? In this video, I'll share with you seven signs that you are not cut out to be an entrepreneur. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. One, you prefer to stay in your comfort zone. Roy T. Bennett, chairman of the Ohio Republican Party, defines comfort zone as a psychological state in which one feels familiar, safe, at ease, and secure. Since your comfort zone is everything but stressful and uncertain, why should anyone want to leave such comfort? If you find yourself asking this kind of question, then maybe being an entrepreneur isn't something for you to consider. Entrepreneurs put themselves out there, and they are ready to take calculated risks. That can lead to their success, even if it means being uncomfortable for a while, or at least until they achieve their goals. When was the last time you did something that scared you? Think about some of the greatest leaders in different industries. How did they become so good and successful in their businesses? Well, they took all risks and ventured into the business world despite the fear of the unknown. So, if all you'd rather do is go to the office, do your job, and then go enjoy a peaceful day afterwards, then being an entrepreneur isn't for you. Two, you don't believe in marketing. Marketing is an important part of entrepreneurship. So, even if you have the world's best product, without marketing, you'll likely not make sales. And when you don't, you'll eventually get tired and frustrated with the business. You can have a truly amazing product, but without the right marketing, no one will ever know about it. Marketing is a business process of creating relationships with and satisfying customers. Hence, every entrepreneur must learn how to market their product or service to achieve success. Three, you think entrepreneurship is the way to make quick money. Contrary to what a lot of people think or assume, entrepreneurship takes time, energy, and money. So, if all you think about is how to make quick money, then you shouldn't consider being an entrepreneur. In business, nothing is guaranteed for tomorrow, which is why you can't expect to start a business today and begin to make millions in a month or two. It takes a lot to generate such. First of all, when you put out your business, people try to understand what and why your product should be considered better than existing ones. After which, you begin to convince them to try it and highlight some of the things they like, so you can focus on those features when marketing your product. It is at this point you begin to make money, depending on how many people are willing to buy this updated version of your product. You see, it takes a patient and hardworking person to be an entrepreneur, and if you are anything but patient, then maybe this isn't something you should consider. Four, you procrastinate a lot. Successful entrepreneurs understand the value of time. Alan Lakian once said, "Time equals life. Therefore, waste your time." And waste your life, or master your time and master your life. Time management is a skill that can be nurtured, and successful entrepreneurs have learned how to effectively manage their time, because being a business owner requires attending to so many things all day long and still achieving your overall goal without getting distracted. If you always find yourself pushing tasks to a later time in the future, or if you can't manage your time effectively, then perhaps you aren't cut out to be an entrepreneur. Five, you make a lot of plans but do nothing to achieve them. One of the habits of entrepreneurs is that they know how to set goals and make plans to achieve their goals. Also, 
Entrepreneurs know how to prioritize their daily tasks so that they can achieve their goals at the end of the day. A lot of people think that creating a business plan is all that is needed to start and run a successful business. But the truth is that it takes action. Planning isn't enough. For instance, if you plan a meal table, that doesn't automatically mean that you achieved your goal unless you actually cook and ate the meals accordingly. As an entrepreneur, you must be willing to set goals and take actions to achieve your dreams. 6. You don't like to commit to something. Being an entrepreneur requires being committed to a cause. The truth is that obstacles will arise, but if you are not committed to fulfilling your dreams irrespective of the hurdles you encounter, you're likely chicken out. If you are someone who prefers jumping from one project to another without fully committing to any, then the entrepreneurship life might not be for you. 7. You give up too easily. Running a business isn't one of the easiest things to do. It's like running a marathon. You feel energetic at some point and at other times you feel tired and weak. That you just want to give up but you can't because you haven't reached the finish line yet. However, if you are someone who gives up easily whether you have achieved your goal or not, as long as you don't feel motivated anymore, you'd let go of everything, then you probably aren't cut out to be an entrepreneur. As much as everyone wants to be their boss, not everyone is cut out to handle entrepreneurship. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.